Well, folks, an end of an era is upon us. One of the most, I don't know, infamous Nintendo leakers of the last handful of years, Zippo, is no more, at least no more at the time of making this video. His blog has been deleted and removed from the internet, and there's a ton of speculation around it because he did have some even more leaks he dropped over the holidays here. He had something on the 24th and on Christmas itself on the 25th, a couple really big leaks. We're going to be talking about those and why his blog could be gone and does this start to add a lot of credence to all these things he's been saying in December if now is the time the Nintendo Ninjas decided to take action. Oh, folks, buckle up. It's going to be a bit of a bumpy ride as we dive into the most recent rumors and leaks from the man formerly known as Zippo. So let's get to the new rumors he did first. On December 24th, he put up a post for a new Knights game coming from Sega. Now, we don't have a ton of details on this because, unfortunately, I didn't get to look at this post before it went down, and all we have is the intro paragraph captured by Around the Clock. In fact, when we talk about the next rumor after this, it was also captured by Around the Clock, so I want to make sure we give that YouTuber some credit. We'll link to his videos down below and even his theories on what has happened to Zippo himself. But I find this to be quite fascinating. The Night series, to me, is a really, really good one, and I... I you know, if you look at what Sega is doing, bringing back all these other old games that they announced, like Crazy Taxi, Streets of Rage, this sort of falls in with that initiative. So it's perfectly believable that Knights would also be coming back if these other old Sega IP are also returning. So not a crazy out there rumor, and since we don't have the additional details of the post to know if he was suggesting when it was going to come out, this is something that could be years and years and years away. I don't think that's what got his channel taken down though though he's talked about sega stuff here and there and this is you know such a vague reference he even says the game with the jester so what i do think is quite interesting though is on christmas day itself he dropped a, another rumor about xenoblade chronicles x and again everything you're about to see on screen was captured by around the clock but let's go and read what he put on his blog post Monolith Soft is one of Nintendo's most talented, reliable, and consistent developers. I know this. You know this. Everyone knows this at this point. What we haven't known for a while is what the studio is up to post Xenoblade 3 and Tears of the Kingdom. That is until now. I have a little more insight into that quandary. Boom. Surprise number two. That's right. I'm hearing from sources familiar with the situation that Monolith Soft is developing a full remake of their underrated Wii U title, Xenoblade Chronicles X. Released in 2015, this title came at a time where the Wii U was already unfortunately winding down after two consecutive years of poor sales. So many missed out on the game, including myself. From all accounts, the game is excellent and is, in actuality, the first Nintendo game of the modern day to go open world, even before Breath of the Wild. Monolith has numerous titles in development for Nintendo's next system, and this is just scratching the surface of that. Now, the exciting stuff, and the thing is, the reason this may be the end of these rumors is his blog has been deleted. We don't know if he did it or someone else did it, and I want to give full credit to Around the Clock for capturing those rumors again. But naturally, we had no idea why his blog is gone. And it's is it a typical deletion? I believe if it's a full deletion by the user, the URL itself gets reopened for others to use. But that's not what happened here. The URL is not available. So if, if maybe his stuff, you know, his more recent rumors are a little too spot on, Nintendo Ninjas might have come along and forced Blogger to close that blog. That, or maybe Zippo himself took it down temporarily instead of a full deletion. And this is just how that looks publicly. We really don't know, as there's no way to contact Zippo after he's been banned at multiple other social media platforms and internet forums. So at this point, it's just completely left up the speculation on why this is gone. Is it an intentional deletion to make him look legit and then he comes back later? That's not something that Zippo's ever really done in the past, so I don't really think that would fit his MO. 
But it, it's, it's quite fascinating to me that his blog is gone, considering that it didn't seem to break any of the terms of service at Blogger based on what I was able to read. So, look, I'm just going to sit back and ponder on this for a while because there's so many rumors he has going on at the moment that potentially Nintendo, if the stuff is true, could be wrong about or like mad about anyways. I'll give you an example. Ocarina of Time. He basically said a remake or remaster is in the works and coming. He said that this month. Yeah, Nintendo might be pretty pissed about that if he's revealing it. Xenoblade Chronicles X being completely remade from the ground up for Nintendo Switch 2. Yeah, they're going to be pretty mad if that's if that's like an actual leak. So if this stuff is true, then Nintendo is going to take him down. And if Nintendo took him down, now we have to start looking at everything he's posted over the last six months and go, damn, is all of this true? And it just took this long for Nintendo Ninjas to finally take him out. Find it hard to believe. It's not hard to hear Zippo references in various YouTube channels and major websites talking about his rumors. So I, I can't believe it would take that long for Nintendo Ninjas to catch wind. But maybe he finally started hitting too close to home and Nintendo's like, okay, this has gone from like some wild speculation stuff to now you're just hitting too, too, too exact on info. So it's time to take him down. And that is absolutely a reasonable thing to think. I don't know what to think in cases like this because it's rare. It's rare that people just vanish like this. Uh, if you guys remember, Samus Hunter vanished as well, but Samus Hunter didn't have their account deleted. They just stopped posting, right? That was the end of it. There was just no more posts. That Twitter account still exists. This is a complete deletion of everything Zippo's ever put out there on his blog. I find that quite fascinating to at least consider. And now we look at what posted right before, the night stuff from Sega, you had the Xenoblade Chronicle X remake, we had the Ocarina of Time remake stuff as well. Maybe he's just hitting on too much too quickly, and Zipmus was really his undoing because he was unveiling too much too fast. Beats the hell out of me. All I know is, if that is the case, I apologize, Zippo, and I guess we'll find out in the coming years how many of these rumors pan out and how legit all this was, or none of it happens, and we're just sitting here spending a video talking about a person who was just making stuff up that decided to stop doing it and deleted his own stuff. I don't know, man. At the end of the day, this is all just about good fun, and I hope you enjoyed the combos. We have many more other rumors, leaks, and other stuff coming, including a video on a research uh, program being done that has concluded that Super Mario Odyssey might, in fact, be a treatment for depression. Stay tuned. See, not everything they research about video games is focused on the negative.